another part, I guess. Yeah, why? Well, at least you're engaging in the parts. Hey, guys, I bet you we will get past this part. Hey! Don't kill me! Okay, today we will be reviewing... Old Swindle, but the Autobot version. So the head, again, isn't accurate because it's the Autobot version. But if you get this specific set, you can rename them, or I think they come with different names. I wish they gave the Autobot version, like, their own molds, but it works. I like the Bruticus mold for these guys. And I like the Bruticus mold with the upgrade kit for Bruticus. Uh, there is an upgrade kit, but not for this set. It's meant for the two Bruticus sets that are the Darken, the Darker San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and then the store bought ones, which have brighter, poppier colors. <laughs> and then there's the G2 Bruticus, which has more of the G2 gener Generation 2 colored. I like renaming them, but I'm j for these reviews, I'm going to call them what their names are supposed to be. Ah, uh, this guy's one of my favorites with flaws. With flaws, but I don't care too much that I'm going to blur. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but no, um, uh, we will be reviewing Swindle. He looks good. He's got his... Um, he has his little blaster, which, get a closer look of that. Uh, adjust. It's got detail. I really like kind of like the shine to it. And uh, there's this little peg coming out. I know it's not broken. It's like a little cute detail. Little like ridge right here. Adjust. Adjust. Um, but yeah, it looks really good, and I like it. Now put the gun in onto the figure. The figure. As you can tell, got kind of floppy shoulders, so that means. Yeah, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. And I, yeah, and his arms can't go 100% down whenever they're all the way up. They're kind of. So if you want a straight down arm, you gotta kind of fold it down to unrealistic portions. But he looks good with his shoulders. It's like, like he's big and boffin. Wee! I don't know if I did posability. On him, I should have checked that before I did this video. Pretty sure I did it. We're on so on slot. The last video on slot. Ah! Okay, but he's solid. You're supposed to be solid. No, but he's got big feet, so that kind of gives him some stability. And. If you get his legs straight, you can just do that. Yeah. No floppy joints, they're all tight, which yeah, not too tight. So it's just like you can play with this guy. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure paint chipping is a problem. Yeah, I'm, on the knee it's kinda starting to chip. On the knee. Sorry. I was not looking at the camera like I usually do. Yeah, it's kind of starting to chip. I hopefully he got to saw that. See, see that, not saw that. See that. Ah! Um, again, he can hold his gun wherever. You can go tab. You can hold it. You can even hold it with these little side pegs. That, but that's meant for our final or a uh, close to combination for. You could even kind of tab it on here. Way. Uh. As you can tell, 
It's meant for kids, so it can handle. Ooh, yeah! I will not set. I bought this used, but. Adjust. Here we go. As you can tell, the tabs on the back were broken. It's because, again, it was used. And second of all, these tabs were tiny and spindly. Yeah. Let's get to put now. Let's look at the de now. Let's get to pose the booty. Not yet. Let's look at the detail. We can get a zoom in on the face. Adjust. Adjust. It's got lots of detail. I really like it. You got lots of detail on his like head area. That looks really good. I like this head mold for this guy. He looks super buff. I like that kind of design. And even the wheels got like teeny tiny little detail. Yeah. Details and I just love it how these guys have like itty bitty little little details, little, little little details that look really good. And even in the inside, like right here, there's lots of detail. I mean, seriously, this guy's like detail. He's got some like mechanical look and stuff, and even like on the inside of his legs. Wow. <laughs> uh no, but a uh, yes, but yeah, it's detailed. Possibility is pretty simple. Ball joint, ooh, it can actually get up and backwards. Ow, that's gotta hurt. It can move forward. Ball joint, but he can lift it up though. And spin around so you get the basic movability, and that's nice. Head is on a ball joint, but it's super duper tight. Uh, I cannot spin three. Oh, can't spin too much 360. But we twist it back, it can, it can't really, it's got the swivel, but nothing much. Oh, and up and down, like not that much. It can do the splits all right. Uh, it can do it backwards and forwards that far. Ouch. Thigh swivel. Knee joint. And a toe can bend in. It's all right. You can't get too dynamic of poses, but I think it's just... <sighs> He's my second favorite design. We'll see why in the future videos. Let's get to transformation. Oh, wait, real quick. The robot mode really with me gets a right about a 7 out of 10. Transformation's pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple. You come here, get the arm out of the way. Uh, you get this. These are kind of tabbed in here so as you can see there's a tab and a port and then back here there's there's a there's a port right there on the green and there's tabs that's how those tab in. and then now you've got a flabby flow ow my finger um you push the head down and you just Leave it there. 
with the arms, you fold this all the way around. Snap. Till you hear that snap. Then you can get to the knees. Twist them around. And then second arm, same as the first. Come here. Tab, port. Hmm. Okay. Doing on tab, oh, tab, port, tab, port. It all kind of tabs together. Then you can fold his toes around. Twist the whole body. Get this out of the way for a second. You make him kind of get into a sitting pose like that. Then you fold this around. This was a tab, tab, tab. And these would like kind of tab into this. Let me see something real quick. It would. Okay. They go into this straight. This port. Same with the other side. And I have no idea what this uh, third port would do. I have no idea. You get the arm, you kind of bend it backwards, and there's a tab. There's a port right here. You'll tab that arm in, and you gotta kind of bend it away. You gotta bend the arm backwards to get that look, and then you kind of squish it all together, make sure it all kind of tabs in together. I like folding this down until it gets stopped. And then... Just you got the vehicle mode, which doesn't look half bad. It's a block with wheels. Yay! Just what a kid wants. Who <sighs> um weapon storage for his guy. So there's a tab right up there. It's useful. Yeah! It looks all right. Um, you can do. Scramble city with these guys, and they can be arms, legs, whatever. That's why there's a ginormous hand. But I'm gonna be for the first view, I'm gonna be transforming them into legs. Maybe if there's still time left over, I'll turn them into his uh, arm, <laughs> and it looks good. It rolls just what a kid wants. Okay. Uh, it's got detail, detail, detail. There's a gap there, but that's not the worst. And then you check in detail. The detail carries over to the from the robot and makes it look good. That's a hollow back. That must be a Okay, but no. Um, I, I think it looks good. I, I like it. I like it. Yes, I like it. It's good. I like it. The car mode gets a 7 out of 10 again because I'd give it a 9 out of 10 if it wasn't just a freaking block that falls apart, but that's just on mine. Don't worry. It, it shouldn't. Boom! Like that for yours. Yours should have a tab if you buy it brand new. Playing the swindle! Okay, but. It looked good. Do I suggest you buy this set? This guy. Yes. If, yes, I suggest you buy this guy, but I'll tell you if I suggest for you to... Um, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm, I'm actually... I'll give you my for sure answer. By the final part, or by the time I'm combining them. I get that I just said yes, but I might change my mind. Okay, well, keep on nerding on, y'all. Bye!
Debbie, spin around here. Debbie. Gosh darn.